Do you make your own bread? Well, most people don't. So that means that we have to go to bakeries to buy the bread that we eat. You might take it for granted, but making bread is actually a complicated process that requires different materials and industries to survive. Let's talk you through. First of all, there's us, the consumer. And we buy our bread from the bakery. The bakery will need the following four main ingredients and tools in order to make bread. First, there's flour. And then there's active dry yeast and then there's ovens and also cooking utensils. First, let's talk about how flour is made. To make flour, wheat is a required ingredient. Wheat is a raw material and is part of the primary industry. The wheat is then grounded in a flour mill to make flour. Flour is part of the secondary industry. And finally, it is used to make bread. Next, we'll talk about the materials that are used to make ovens. To make ovens, there are two main materials, metal and plastic. The plastic is made from crude oil, part of the primary industry. The plastic is then used to make the handles and dials of an oven. Metal is also an important part of the oven, and it is used to make the frame and the body of it. And it is also part of the primary industry. Finally, utensils use stainless steel that is refined and shaped to make spoons and other cooking equipment. So let's wrap it up. Hopefully you now understand how bakeries bake the bread that we eat and how each industry depends on other industries in order to complete the final product. So is anyone hungry?